Here we are in section 5.6 with numbers 19 through 24, and we are expected to solve these, which will involve setting them equal to zero. We'll notice that all of these are in that condition. We'll factor each one, and then each piece, each factor, will be set equal to zero, and that's how we'll get our answers. So here we have, I'm going to write this in descending order so I can see to um, factor it, plus 20 x minus 6 equals 0. We have a greatest common factor. We'll pull out a 2. We get 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. This is a trinomial with a leading coefficient not equal to 1, so 8 times negative 3. This is the AC method, negative 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. This is a negative, so we're going to go with a plus 12 and a minus 2, which will give us a 10. Note, we can't do the 4 and the 6 because it will not times to a negative 24. So this is negative 2x plus 12x minus 3. And there's your 8x squared there. What can we pull out of these guys? A 2x, and we're left with 4x minus 1. Out of here, we can pull a 3, and we're left with a 4x minus 1. And so pull the 4x minus 1 out, and we got 4x minus 1 times 2x plus 3, and there's that 2 that's been waiting patiently for us to finish that, equals 0. So we get here three different answers. 1, 2 equals 0. Okay, so that one didn't give us an answer. This one, if we set 4x minus 1 equals 0, we add 1, 4x equals 1, we get x equals 1 fourth. And then here, 2x plus 3 equals 0, we would subtract 3 from both sides, so minus 3, and we get x equals a negative 3 halves. So we get those two answers. And you could stick them up in here, and they would actually work. Number 20. Uh, let's factor this where it's already equal to 0. Let's pull out the greatest common factor, x. We have x squared minus 3x plus 2. And this is now a trinomial with leading coefficient 1. So we get, let's break this one up, and this is an x and an x and a minus 2 and a minus 1, and there's x. So now we set each piece equal to 0. x equals 0. Hey, look, that gave us an answer, unlike this over here where it didn't. x minus 2 equals 0 gives us x equals 2, and x minus 1 equals 0. Add the 1 over there, and we get x equals 1. And there we have it, those three answers, and they really will work in the problem. Number 21. Can we pull out a greatest common factor? Uh, nope, but we can. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four of them, so we can just go straight to grouping. Pull out an x squared out of there, and we get 2x plus 1. Over here, we can pull out a negative 49, and we're left with 2x plus 1. That gives us x squared minus 49 times this 2x plus 1. And this can still go down. This is a difference subtraction of two squares. So we get x plus 7, x minus 7, and then your 2x plus 1 right there. And that's all equal to 0. So if we set them each equal to 0, x plus 7 equals 0, x equals a negative 7. Most of you will be able to do that in your head. Say, oh, negative 7 would make that piece equal to 0, which will give us an answer. x minus 7 equals 0 will give us x equals a positive 7. And then 2x plus 1 equals 0 will give us uh, 2x equals a negative 1, gives us x equals a negative 1 half. So let's highlight those guys. There we go. Those are the three answers for number 21. All right, now number 22. Um, no greatest common factor here. It looks like a trinomial with leading coefficient 1, so we can just x and x. And take the number 63, what times is to 63, and adds to 16. You got 1 and 63, uh, 2, nope, 3 and 21, 4, no, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 9, and there we go. x plus 7, x plus 9 equals 0. So that'll give us, set this piece equal to 0, and we get x equals a negative 7, and then this piece equal to 0. And we get x equals a negative 9. So we get two answers there. Number 23. Okay, so for this one, can we pull out a greatest common factor? Indeed, pull out that 25, and we get 
x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. This guy is a trinomial leading coefficient 1. Or you could recognize, hey, look, x squared, that's a perfect square. So is 4. This is probably like x minus 2 squared. Indeed, it is. And the 25. Now set each piece equal to 0. 25 equals 0. Oh, well, that was silly. Don't write that guy down. That doesn't have an x. Now notice up here, that'll work when you have a variable on that on that greatest common factor. And this one, um, x minus 2 equals 0. That gives us x equals 2. This one will do the same thing, x equals 2. That just happened twice. So really, we just have one answer that happened twice. And finally, number 24. This is a trinomial leading coefficient 1. So we're going to do it the quick way. We take negative 48. And this is, could be a 1 and a 48, a 2 and a 24, a 3 and a 16, a 4 and a 12, or a 6 and an 8. Now, which one of those sets of numbers, pairs of factors, will add to a positive 8? It looks like this guy right here with a positive 12 and a negative 4. So we have an x and an x, that'll give us the x squared, and then we need a minus 4 and a plus 12. And yeah, they do times together to give us this negative 48 and add to the positive 8. That equals 0. So we get x equals a 4 and x equals a negative 12. And there we have it.